Hey guys, check these out. Snap-on Kevlar knuckles. Badass gloves. My father gave those to me. I think it's kind of funny. Before I got on a motorcycle, my father and I did not get along very well. We had a very patchy history, is how I'm going to put it. He, uh, he and my mom got divorced when I was 12, I believe. And before I got on a bike, he missed a lot of things. And it took motorcycles to bring us back together. And now, we have a pretty solid relationship, I like to think. And I give motorcycles the props on that. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys real quick. Topic for this mode of vlog. Let's see. What do I want to talk about? I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to this. <laughs> I know. Let's talk about squids. That's a fun topic, and I know it's one that every moto vlogger talks about at some point. It's a conversation I have at bike nights a lot of the time, too. So I'll start. Now bear in mind, everything I'm about to say is my opinion only. It's not indicative of general knowledge or the opinion of anyone else. It's all mine. But I'm going to try to be as eloquent with it as possible. My version, the way I learned it, and what I've taken it to mean of what a squid is. Squid is an acronym. It stands for stupidly quick, underdressed, ignorant, and dangerous. Some other people take that I and that D to mean imminently dead. I don't like that. I like ignorant and dangerous. Why? Stupidly quick. That makes sense. That's those guys that are going into turns way too hot. They're going through town doing triple digits. They're lane splitting and dead stop traffic doing 90. That's stupidly quick. Underdressed. Those are the guys that don't wear their gear. Now yes, I am a patch guy. So there will be times in my moto vlog that you'll see me wearing a vest and gloves. You will see that. My arms will be bare. And I'll probably talk about that at some point. But understand that to me, that's not underdressed. My style of riding the time that I've got under my belt and the fact that I've already crashed and screwed up my arms have all given me the lessons necessary to handle my bike while wearing a vest and gloves. I'm talking about, when I say underdressed, I'm talking about the guys that are on a bike in chanclas, aka sandals, and cargo shorts and a wife beater cruising on the freeway doing 90 popping wheelies. Those are those are the underdressed clowns that I'm talking about. Ignorant. That, for me, is the most important aspect of being a squid. Squids are ignorant. They don't fully understand their bikes, themselves, or the capabilities thereof. Squids are out to look cool. They're out to be fast. They're not out to be safe. They're not riding their own ride. Every squid I've ever met, and you can tell who's who, has this attitude about them. And they're clueless. They really are just clueless on bike culture, bike handling, bike riding, just everything that makes motorcycling this awesome world that it is. Squids don't get it. They just don't. And the last part, dangerous. Squids are dangerous because they have all these other elements mixed in together. This is a fun little turn, so I'm just gonna cruise for a sec. Anyway. They're dangerous because they mix all these elements together and they put themselves and others in harm's way. I mean, 
you get a group of squids together and they want to go carve a canyon in their shorts and their tennis shoes, that's not smart. And if you ever find yourself in a group of those people, separate yourself, okay? That's, that's my advice to you on that, because I've seen those. I've ridden in groups like that, and it's, it's a great way to get yourself hurt. Now that being said, not everybody is a squid, and for the love of all that is holy, biker, stop throwing out that term every time you don't like somebody. I mean, seriously. Not every noob is a squid. Sometimes these people are just new, and they don't know any better. Give them a break, reach your hand out, and shake their hand. Tell them, hey man, I realize you're new. You need a friend? Because, uh, I was new. I was new for a while, and if I didn't have the family that I had that rode with me so we could all kind of learn together, I would have felt so alone and depressed all the time, not knowing diddly. So when you meet somebody that's new, two things. Do not assume that they're squids, and don't assume that they're hot rods. I mean, just give them the opportunity to prove themselves. It's not that hard. What do you what do you stand to lose by reaching your hand out and making a friend? That is one of the things that has always kept me in this biker lifestyle and kept me humble. Is that it's one of these cultures where everybody's welcoming, man. One of my favorite stories to tell about when I first started riding, I came into a gas station in a truck. I wasn't even on the bike. And uh, there were two really nice chopper style motorcycles at the pump and these grizzly old bikers were on these bikes looking like ZZ Top with their beards and do-rags and shades they were just straight out of a movie with their persona it was awesome me and my uncle walked up to him and started talking about these badass choppers they were riding and I told him yeah man I'm on this uh, this kind of piece of crap KZ 550 and this grizzly old biker pulls his sunglasses down, looks me dead in the face and says, You know what, brother? As long as you're sharing the wind, I don't care. And that touched me. Like, even like talking about it right now, I'm getting goosebumps because it was one of the most powerful statements that this stranger could give me was that he didn't care what I was riding or what kind of gear. He didn't, he didn't care as long as I was understanding of the lifestyle like he was instantly we had a connection that's awesome it's not something you find everywhere so god damn it pass that on <laughs> pass on that love for this sport and this culture because really it's it's us that keep it alive it's really what it boils down to i think i've kind of diverted my topic a little bit but what is a squid I think I've illustrated that pretty well. Squids are the idiots that give the rest of us a bad name. It doesn't mean that every new guy is one. And there are some long-time riders, believe it or not. Been on bikes for years. They're still squids, and they're stupid. A cop and an ambulance over there. Hmm. What was I? There are squids that are long-time riders that are still dumb as hell, and the only thing that saved them is luck. There are, I've known guys that ride Harleys, and have been riding Harleys for 20 years, that still ride in sandals and shorts and a half-shell helmet. And that's great for them. Good for them. I'm glad they're still alive. But I will never be caught dead in a half-shell helmet and chunklas on a bike, okay? It's just not gonna happen. You can forget about that right now. So, uh, I think that's kinda all I have to say about squids. So, I'm gonna cut this one short and I will see you guys on the next one.